fifth dimensional vibes. Destructo vibe. Radio. They left. 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 They surrounding us. They all around us. They try to profound us. They try to surround us. They try to take us out, man. Alien inhabitants. You better grab your rifles. Cause it's cracking. You can't be lacking. When it's cracking, I grab my Mac here. Yeah. Let it smack it. Yeah. I let it pack it yeah. like pack it, but just pack it. So when it's cracking, it ain't no lacking. It. It's cracking. They live. 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 Hey. It's not a game, man. I know I play the game, but it's not a game, man. I'm really getting messages from my higher self. It's just my higher world. Look up in your lower self. That's just your lower world. You don't even know it's radio. And I'm with stereo. Nigga, just make it cuss. It's funny. Uh, stereo, this ain't no game, nigga. It ain't funny. Niggas think it's funny, but they really bug me. Some nigga be talking. He ain't really on shit. That nigga walking. I'm a hard bitch with huh? Yeah. Wah. Yeah, I'm a hoe, bitch. Whoa, yeah. I fly away. It's a ride today. Whoa, it's a ride today. You saw it now, ways. Niggas talk away. Whoa, get my alkaline. Look at my emblem. Look at my color car. I am not a game. I'm Prestige 8. They live. 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 They all around us. They live. They all around us. They live. They all around us. They live. They live. What it do YouTube? Today's video, I'm gonna chime in with a quick impromptu video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to know if you're tapped into nature. How to know if you're on a higher vibration. And before I start this message, just wanna say happy Father's Day to all the real fathers out there. And Father's Day should be every day, not just one specific day, but that's how it is on the Gregorian calendar. And Mother's Day should be every day, but that's how it is on the Gregorian calendar. But now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the topic. So how to know if you're tapped in to nature? How to know if you're tapped into nature, right? See, this is how you know you're tapped into nature. See, spirit, right? A lot of people consider the wind to be spirit. Especially at Native American folklore or just in Native American culture as well, right? And that's true. See... When you know you're on a higher vibration, I'm gonna explain it to you. So, when you know you're on a higher vibration, it'll be certain like subtle hints that Mother Nature will give you. And And that's the thing, too. I just want to state this, too, that Mother Nature in the universe, like in the cosmos, all that shit is connected. You know what I mean? It's just different dimensions, different planes, but it's all still right here on Earth. So you'll get different signs, right? So if you're on a higher vibration, right, it can be very gloomy outside, very dark. It could be drizzling. It could be, you know, actually raining a little bit. As soon as you go outside, boom, the clouds will part and the sun will come out. I'm telling you, this is real talk because your, um, your sacral chakra, you know what I mean, or the chakra that's right above the root chakra, which is like your solar plexus, once you start to like 
have a more balanced diet or even if you're all vegan or whatever the case may be vegetarian but once you start to have a more balanced diet you know what i mean like not just like all completely meats because if it's all completely meats that's not balanced you know what i'm saying and plus like meats can't open up your sacral chakra unless it's like kosher or something like that but that's a whole different story but anyway the sun will come out when it's very gloomy. Animals will come up to you. Squirrels, rabbits, birds. You know what I'm saying? All different type of animals. I'm like the main animals you really see, like, and like nature and its natural habitat. But even other animals will come up to you as well. You know what I mean? But just like the main animals that's always just like, just jumping around in nature, just squirrels, birds. You know what I'm saying? Rabbits, you know, um, groundhogs, you know, a little different stuff like that or whatever. And they'll come up to you because they're not afraid of you because they know you're on a higher vibration. They can feel your energy. Another way to know you're on a higher vibration is that your aura will start to glow. It will start to shine brighter and brighter. So when you get around demonic people, you will know they're demonic because as soon as you start to even walk in a room or walk in an area, in a vicinity or whatever you at, those demons will instantly have to shit because your energy, your aura knocks the shit out of their like their uh their stomach area, which is like the root chakra, well ruler, the root chakra is under your genitalia, but the uh sacral chakra, which is in the stomach area, it hit that area. It's like oh shit, and they have to run to the bathroom. I've seen this plenty of times. This is how I know this for a fact. Your attitude will start to change towards how you think of things. How you act towards people that doesn't mean you're going to be a pushover but your attitude <coughs> will start to change and also your mind and your thoughts will become more clear you know what i mean your bodily functions will become more smoothly it's like it's like you're basically like reset your body all over again when you raise your vibration. You know what I mean? And also, when you raise your vibration, other people that's on a higher vibration, or even if they're not on a high vibration, you will start to attract more people, whether you want to or not. You know what I mean? You'll start to attract more demonic people because demons are attracted to light, just like moth to a flame. A moth is basically a lower vibration of a butterfly. A, a butterfly is a fifth dimensional, higher vibrational version of a moth. You see what I'm saying? And you can see these, you have all these different examples right here for you in nature. Real talk, that's why the Discovery Channel is so important but at the same time i didn't learn this from the discovery channel i just learned this by observing nature but if you observe nature you watch the discovery channel or if you watch the discovery channel and observe nature you will see this you have low vibrational versions of insects you have higher vibrational versions of those same insects like i just gave you an example a moth is a lower vibrational version of a butterfly a butterfly is a higher vibrational fifth dimensional version of a moth they do totally two different things. You see what I'm saying? You get what I mean? Just like ants. You have different type of ants in different type of regions. You have, just to keep it basic, you have black ants which are the workers, the builders. And then you have red ants, which are a higher vibrational version of those black ants. 
because the red ants they evolved in color they um they they do different stuff like they build and stuff like that but they also do other different things so i would have to go back and look it up you know what i mean so i'm not gonna just like just say anything and shit like that it just slipped my mind but they like they're both ants but they do two different things they have two different colors and stuff like that so one is a higher vibrational version of the other one you get what i mean This is why you have these examples out here. Just like with animals. You have lower vibrational dogs, which is like a regular canine. But just because you have a regular canine don't mean that you can't find a dog that's on a higher vibration. And when you find a dog that's on a higher vibration, the dog will be naturally intelligent naturally well-mannered don't really have to train him that much you know what i mean he will be like respectable and listening to the orders and he will understand what you're saying versus a dog that don't really know no better a dog that don't really know no better is more like a low vibrational dog he just wants to hunch everything he just wants to piss and shit everywhere he wants to you know like he doesn't listen to you. Always trying to bite somebody. You see what I mean? We got different versions. And also, you can look at it like this, too. Because canines are also in the same family as wolves. So, a dog, a regular canine, that is like a lower vibrational version of a wolf. And a wolf is like a higher vibrational version of a dog. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. And then you got the same thing when it comes to cats. You got the little regular cats that you get... You know what I'm saying? Some cats, they just want to growl and scratch and attack. That's a low vibrational cat. Then you can get you a well-mannered cat that just wants to eat tuna, sit back, chill, uh, watch TV, you know, and they can actually listen to what you're saying. They understand because they're a high vibration. But then if you want to get more in-depth into it, if you look into the cat family, a regular cat, a regular house cat, that's a lower vibrational version of an actual cheetah you know what I mean? Or actual lion. Or no, no, I can't even say that. Because that those, they kind of go like, like certain animals, they kind of got like ranks of higher vibrational versions of themselves. So like, basically like, a, um, like, like I said, a regular cat, that's a low vibrational version of like a cheetah. Or a jaguar or something. And then you got the cheetah. That is a higher vibrational version of the regular house cat but at the same time you look at a lion that the lion is the king of the jungle so that's uh, the highest vibration of the cats and all the other cats look up to the lion and respect the lion just like how you got the hyena hyenas they kind of like a mix of a lot of shit but the hyenas are kind of like like in a dog family i would think i would yeah because I, I, I did a project on them a long time ago when I was in school, we had to do, like, research on different animals and shit. And, um, hyenas, they, like, more in a dog family. You know what I mean? Like, they look like cats and shit like that. But they always fight lions and stuff like that. So they more in a dog family. And a hyena, like, it's more evolved. But it's, like, a higher vibrational version of a regular canine. But it's, at the same time, it's kind of a lower vibrational, too. Because it just wants to attack and just laugh because that's why hyenas do they laugh but they laugh is really like a um a communication call to other hyenas and stuff like that so it's like you got different versions of nature like i mean different versions of higher vibrational things in nature so for example nature shows you what to do so if you look at ants ants when like um when they see a lot of uh like when they see like a chip or something drop on the ground or whatever the case you see a whole bunch of ants come out the ground and they start trying to get that chip and break it down and bring it into that layer because they're preparing for winter time that's what the ants do in the summertime you see what i mean just like the grasshopper the grasshopper is a lower vibrational entity and he's just party 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 you know what i mean he doesn't say for winter time so when winter time comes he's not prepared these are true stories you know what i mean real talk so it's like mother nature gives you an example like you're supposed to watch what animals do 
not and not necessarily you're supposed to follow what animals do, but they show you how to basically live off nature, like in a raw type of way. I show you how humans are supposed to interact with each other, supposed to live peacefully with each other. And yes, you have animals that do fight and kill each other, but that's just the ecosystem, the food chain. You see what I'm saying? Things like that. And yes, humans have dominion over animals, but if you look at what's going on right now, with like I said, with these um, entities that have been lowering the vibration and dumbing down humans, you know, humans are in an animalistic state, in a beast-like state, acting like animals. You know what I mean? Wake the damn up. More videos coming soon.